where some might see despair. Excuse the mess. <laughs> Sorry, there's laundry everywhere. Your, your spirits are amazing. It's what matters came out of the fire. Mark and Megan Hines see blessings. Memories are in your mind. They're not just in a house. I walked through the house afterwards, and my honest thought was, don't need it, don't need it. All replaceable, don't need it. Mark is no stranger to house fires, but he's usually the one fighting them. A firefighter and assistant chaplain with the Visher Ferry Volunteer Fire Department, it was his own station that was first on the scene when their home went up in flames last Sunday. Mark and Megan were sleeping in the basement. Their three kids, ages one, three, and five, were in their beds upstairs. We were on this side, the fire was over here. I opened that door, plume of smoke came right up here, and then that's what went through and set off the, the smoke yeah. alarms. And uh, then I, I came up here, I grabbed the fire extinguisher from right under there, I went right back down to the landing, I opened it up, I said, no way, let's go. The family made it out the front door safely, taking nothing with them as they left. As soon as the fire trucks arrived, Mark says he grabbed some hose and joined his, quote, brothers in the fight. God can give you peace when you shouldn't have peace. And I think a lot of the people who were on the fire ground, uh, they were expecting to see someone in total despair, but the reality was I was just happy my family was safe. Mark and Megan know things are just things and can be replaced. A GoFundMe for the family has already raised thousands of dollars. The couple saying the outpouring of support is humbling. But it's a different story when you're just five years old. The couple sharing one very special moment from that day they say they will never forget. Apparently I, I, I brag on my wife and kids a lot because our five-year-old son wants to be just like me. So he has a wallet and a cell phone and keys. And they didn't grab anything of mine, but one firefighter came out with his wallet because they knew how much it meant to my son. <laughs> that was actually the first thing he, after the fire, he's like, my pocket things, where are they? One of my brothers came out with his wallet, next in line, his cell phone, <laughs> his little broken cell phone. Yeah. And then his keys, just like daddy. <laughs> it was that that made me tear up. 